Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an in the bag to show you guys what I'm throwing while I play a kind of a casual practice round here at Vista del Camino. I'm walking up on hole one right now. To make it a little bit more interesting than like a typical in the bag, I think I'm just gonna throw every disc one time. So once I throw it on a hole, I will not be throwing it again unless it's like super trash, then maybe I will. Should be fun. Let's get right into it. Well, I don't see any mandos on this hole right now, so I'm just gonna go left side with a Cappings Raptor. This is the first run, so these are a little bit more oval stable. I like these for like tight flex shots or like forehand shots. Oh, first part of the day, kind of a knee knock, as AB would say, from 12 feet. All right, I've got my beat in Swirly Z Nebula. This thing has been money. I've got this cut in it, and uh, that's what makes it fly good. Do you guys mind if I throw one? They not, can't hear you. not loud enough. They're gonna watch you. All right. I know it. Yep. <laughs> guys, I'm taking forever. I'm gonna have to pause it. All right, they're walking off. I finally get a throw. Let's go. Oh, it's really tough to push this left tree enough. Still have it flip up and uh, go to the basket. Pulled that one a little bit, but that disc is so money for straight wood shots. Or all straight open shots, but I have a putt, a little low ceiling putt. I would maybe go to the knee, but I don't want to get my knee dirty on the mud. Oh boy. Well, I guess that was that was the real knee knocker. All right, I'm gonna go with my slightly more oval stable Swally Z Nebula. Got to put it on a baby Annie to get the right flight. In front of the gallery with the pressure too. They let me play through though. That group was nice enough to let me play through. Didn't quite turn this uh, Nebula over enough, but. I still have a pretty good look here. Oh my gosh, brother. It's early in the morning, guys. I can't, I don't even know what to say about putts like that. Technically, I'm not supposed to use the nebula again, but I think for putting, we were just, we aren't gonna count putting for the using a disc only one time kind of thing. This guy's about 70 feet from the basket right now, absolutely unloading his bag. I think he's thrown about, this is gonna be his fourth what is he, is he throwing a chicken wing? I think he's throwing chicken wings from about 80 feet. Hopefully he lets me play through as well. But I'm gonna go with my big Z Onyx on this shot. This is my most oval stable of the three Onyxes that I bag, which I guess I'll show you later on in the round. But I'm looking for like a nice pushing flight and then a little stall fade uh, back to the basket and hoping to not go over the houses. Oh. Well, I guess I'll go with my Z Raptor since that disc is gone forever. Oh, I yanked it again. I sli it's a slip. I'm done with this hole. Well, that, that sucks. Uh, I just lost two good discs. Thankfully, both of those are basically stock. So I can get, I can replace that Z Raptor very easily and that Z, the big Z Onyx very easily, but you still don't want to like just lose discs like that. But I'm down two discs. Because my bag isn't as heavy now. Although, it's always light because it's a squash bag. I might have torn both of those over a little bit because the last shot I threw, the Nebula was a little bit of a torn over. So it's like my my stock release might have just like briefly changed. Or I just threw a trash shot and there was really no excuse. But I have a putt for Paul. <laughs> Bro, this game's so easy. He says, after he throws two straight OB. Let's go. I'm using CT Glow Challenger SS's for my putt -offs. I have two of them 
in my bag and uh, they came out sweet with the double stamp got my little logo in there but i've been loving these um very comfortable a little bit less glide i think than like a luna or a roach which i like for i like for putting and i like for throwing a little less glide on a puddle it's kind of uh kind of ideal in my opinion keeps it a little bit more consistent in my opinion all right that holds behind us i'm going with a esp challenger ss this is one of the missy ones that otb i think ran a while ago this one's nice and beat in so it's got a little bit flippier of a flight than a typical premium challenger s will fly like out the box oh man well it's a putt it's a putt but i toned it over but it's got such a nice such a nice buttery little toning flight to it Super nice for up shots. And you guys might be wondering like, oh, Ezra, it's so cloudy outside. Why would you have sunglasses on? And here's the thing, guys. It's in the morning right now. And unfortunately for me, sometimes I look like absolute death in the morning and uh, nobody wants to see that. So the sunglasses help hide that a little bit. So actually I'm kind of doing it for you guys, but let's cash this putt and move on to, to hole six here at Vista. My putt's been horrible today, except for that jumper that I made. But I haven't really warmed up or done anything today. This is my first, these are my first throws of the day. Like I haven't done field work yet. So uh, you guys are gonna have to just kind of struggle with me throughout this round. Looks like this guy in front of me is playing the traditional layout. I'm playing the XL layout. I'm gonna whip a shot over his head and hope he doesn't get pissed off at me. I'm gonna go with my, actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with my ESP Yuli Nuke. I'm gonna try to get a nice little torn out of it. This has been my best nuke for a kind of a, a long time now. Basically ever since the Yule store gave it to me. Holy low ball. God, my angle was so good. Hey, I got the skip though. Kind of sucks I can't throw that disc again because there's a couple holes I'd probably like to use it, but I'm in position. I'm not happy with it. Typically speaking, I'd probably go Spike Heiser up the right side, but this seems like a good shot to throw my beat to crap Z zone, which has been in my bag for a while. It has a nice little buttery tone to it, which you're not supposed to have for a zone, but that's kind of what makes this disc so special. Yeah. It's like zones, zones aren't supposed to do that flight, you know? But if you can get a bead in zone in your bag, it's so nice because it's still, it's still gonna kind of fight the wind, but it's still gonna have that little understable flight. So it might actually be more consistent than something like a Challenger SS or a Luna, especially when the wind is up. And for some reason, maybe the shallowness of the zone, I feel like it's easier for me to kind of pound it low and keep it, just keep it on a low penetrating flight, whereas a puddle, I kind of feel like I need to air it out a little bit. Let's go, baby. Two not super great shots, a solid putt. That's how you get it done. So I'm sure by now you guys have probably noticed that I've been using this beautiful blue lower bag from Squatch. And before you guys go to the comments and say, why aren't you using the link bag anymore? Do you not like your signature bag? I do love that bag. And I almost definitely will be going back to that bag once the season starts up. I do want the extra space for some extra discs. Um, but I kind of wanted to just try this bag out, see what it's about. It's a little bit smaller. And uh, for the off season especially, I don't need as many discs. So I've really been enjoying using this bag. I think it's an awesome bag from Squatch. And uh, I just kind of kept using it but almost definitely we'll be going back to the link bag. Since there is probably a couple nukes I wanna put in my bag and maybe like an extra zone or something for the actual season. But for the off season, this Lowell bag has been perfect. And uh, if you guys wanna pick one of these Lowell bags up, make sure you use code Ezra to get $20 off of that purchase. And uh, if you wanna pick up the, the Tool Series link bag, no code, but that helps out a lot. Thank you guys for the support and thank you Squatch for making such awesome bags and uh, taking me along with you guys as part of the team. All right, hole seven, let's get into it. Typically on this hole, I would throw that uh, Big Z Onyx that I just lost a couple holes ago, RIP, gone too soon. Um, but 
I'm gonna throw a Big Z Nuke instead, maybe get a little bit more distance out of it. These ones in particular came out really domey and oval stable, so these have been, these green ones especially have been absolutely money. Um, Got to throw it up this left side, little baby torn, hope it fades out and gives me a, a somewhat easy approach uh, into the basket. Yes, saw, dude, let's go. Those nukes are so money. That faded out perfectly, got a baby skip. I'm in primal position for the upshot to the body putt. I love that big Z nuke, especially when I need a little bit more oval stability than that pink one that I threw on the last hole. Wall well, feels maybe a little bit of a headwind, something like that. That that green big Z nuke is perfect for that. I also throw it a lot on like baby hyzel shots that I just want to make sure it keeps the stability throughout the flight and has a nice dependable finish. So most of the time I'm not throwing a little flex shot like that, but it fit this hole so perfectly I had to I had to try to execute it. I almost never actually throw. This is a beat in. Pro D Challenger SS. I think I actually used to putt with this disc, but now that it's uh, beat in and soft, I don't actually like it for putting anymore. Typically this disc comes out when I want a forehand roller to go about 80 feet around a bush or something, but I'm gonna let it fly here on this little upshot. Should be nice and unstable, so I'm just gonna throw it kind of flat and hope it drifts over to the basket. Jeez. Guys, I don't know what that was. I threw it I threw it 17 miles an hour and it got halfway to the basket. Step putt time, let's see if I've got some good pace on this putt. Let's go, man. Didn't know the step putt was warmed up before I even warmed it up. Not the kind of distance you want to have on a putt when your drive is so good, but that's where our putting can make up for such bad shots sometimes. You can kind of putt your way out of bad situations sometimes. Welcome to the signature hole here out at Vista, hole number eight. Beautiful little water carry to a somewhat island-ish green. I'm gonna be going with my Crystal Challenger SS. This is one of my favorite discs that I've ever had the pleasure of putting my name on. It, well, I guess technically not because the stamp was a little messed up, but out of the box, these are kind of oval stable. This one's beat in a little bit, so I can throw it basically flat and it should kind of go straight. If it was out the box, I'd have to definitely put a little bit of ante on it to get the right flight. Push. Oh, baby. What a little skip. I mean, what more can you ask out of a disc, honestly? Crystal Plastic's probably Dishcraft's best plastic as well. And the Challenger SS, probably the best puddle. So what more can you want? Challenger SS, Challenger SS, Baldy. Now here's what I mean about the stamp. Challenger SS was supposed to have the same stamp as this. CT Glows Challenger SS with the little logo there. Something got messed up, no big deal. These still fly amazing. Now before we get into the next tee shot, since we have this beautiful backdrop, let's talk about what people really care about, which is what I have in my bag that's not discs. I have some water, a couple of towels, European open, uh, chalk bag for my rangefinder, kind of busted up, eyepiece, missing, aluminum I think, mini engraved with my logo, a little mic kit for my microphone, and I also have this handy dandy little cheapy stick in case I throw a shot into the water, a sharpie just in case someone wants me to sign a disc or a instant pot or a can of beans. So um, for my actual bag on tour there will be some other stuff in there as well but this is what i've got for my off-season bag but for on season i might have a glove i might have um some a pair of socks i might have maybe an extra towel something else but this is what i've got for now now i would typically throw an onyx on this shot like a little beat in one on this left side over the pond and kind of drift it in toward the basket but guys i've lost two discs today not even in water i don't think i need to risk it i'm gonna go nuke off this tee and hopefully play it somewhat safe. I don't see any OB lines. I'm gonna play everything's in bounds except for the pond. And uh, if I miss throw it and throw too much hyzer, I might park it. But if I throw it right, I should end up kind of a ways right of the basket. I hope I don't hit that guy. Oh, it should fade past him. Stay lots of him. 
Wow. I mean, I threw that, I guess, I don't even know if I can say puffed because I think I ended up left of what I wanted to, but I've got to putt somehow. But that's my, that's my flippiest nuke that I have in my bag right now. I throw it a lot for forehand, like little stand-up forehand shots or big toning backhand shots. And you might be able to notice that I, I kind of try to have most of the slots filled out. So like I had a kind of an unstable mid and kind of a stable mid. I've got my oval stable onyx, or used to. I've got two more little flippier onyxes. I have the nuke that I threw on hole six, which is kind of a straight nuke. I have this nuke, which is a flippy nuke. I have that green nuke, which I threw on hole uh, seven, which is a more oval stable nuke. So basically I kind of want every speed to have a few different discs for every stability. And I think that's a really good way to kind of kind of build out a bag to make sure you have everything. I also didn't want to go like the typical route under this tree over here because about a few days ago, I actually um, <coughs> lost one of my one of my best slightly beating onyxes <laughs> and um, didn't want to repeat that. Let's go, dude. This is the most difficult hole in the entire course. Let's go. Somewhat of an accidental body, I guess, since I wanted to be a little bit further right, but and you guys know how much I love my passions. I've been begging this Swally Z run of passions for a little while, and uh, I absolutely love it. Nice and flat top, nice, nice amount of stability to it. Oh boy, a little bit of highs on. A little bit too much highs on. Didn't quite get as much flip up as I wanted to, but. It's gonna be on the left side, but fine. Kind of a tricky little position here underneath this tree next to these rocks. I'm gonna go with my slightly less beat in Z zone than that green Z zone I threw on hole six. I'm gonna to try to throw it up the left side on a little bit of hyzer, hope it stands up a tiny bit, and then push it to the basket. I would probably actually throw a captain's raptor or a raptor here, but I've already thrown the cap wrap and uh, the raptor's gone. Let's try it again. I mean, you guys want to see the shots. You know, you want to see how these discs actually fly. I don't think throwing straight into a tree helps anyone out. There she is. Fade off that tree, yes. There she is. That's a putt. Now, this is my flippiest Onyx. This is, I believe this is a full run prototype driver. I don't even know what this is, but it's old. This is the one that I use if I want to go basically dead straight. It's kind of like a little bit longer passion. Looking for a nice straight shot in this fairway. Nice little flip up. Ooh, a little bit of tone too. There might be a touch of headwind I can't feel, but that disc is actually so nice, speed in like that. You guys finally get to see the very newest addition to my bag, the soft ringer. So I'm basically looking for this to be a very beat in zone, basically something I can throw on little hyzer shots to flip all the way over to Anheuser in the woods. I want this to be like an extreme utility disc, not a disc I'm gonna probably go to a whole lot, but when I need something to really turn and flip over um, through a tight gap, something like that, I think this is gonna be really nice. I'm actually gonna throw it on backhand here, even though I think this will primarily be a forehand disc for me, but this is the newest addition to my bag. Let's see how she flies on this shot. Hold over. Uh, a little short left. I think that disc is gonna be super nice for me though. Definitely need to beat it in a little bit more, maybe drive over with a car. Something to get it to flip more, but it feels pretty decent. I think it's gonna fly great once I get it dialed in for me. Stay right. Oh my goodness, I thought I made it too. How's it going, man? Uh, not today, no, but I threw two over the, the wall on, what is it, four, I think? Yeah, so I've, I'm down two discs, but nothing in the pond. <laughs> two ponds up is, yeah, they got those things right next to the water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three feet. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people throw in for sure. Oh, I was watching it. Now, if you guys have watched Anthony Borella's latest or one of his latest videos, you know that this is the ESP Onyx that I used in that video for the one disc challenge. This is newly made it in my bag within like a week because I lost uh, my other ESP Onyx in that pond like a week ago. But uh, shout out to Austin Hannah for giving, giving this to me. It's made the bag now, so this thing's been flying super nice. Oh, 
I didn't put any height on it, but it's just enough to crawl over. Yeah, I've got myself a putt, a little bit deep, but that's kind of what you want to do on this hole. Stay up. It did, it did, let's go. Another body, baby. And as you guys could tell on that last shot, this just definitely had a little bit more stability than the onyx that I threw on the previous hole. So it kind of fits in between that onyx and that one that I threw OB, which I'll have to replace uh, very nicely. So I kind of just want that oval stable one, stable one, under stable one, perfect bag. For this shot, I'm going to be going with a test flight venom, which is probably the most oval stable run of venoms that I've personally found and still domey. These have been awesome. It kind of feels like, like a Nuco S for me, which I typically have in my bag as well. Not quite enough space in this bag, but I'm gonna try to throw a nice power hazard over these trees and uh, no wind today, but this is quite the wind fighter. Oh, I didn't quite get enough height. I just clipped that last tree and dropped straight down. So I would probably typically throw a nuke there just to get the extra distance, but Venom came up a little bit short. Still an opportunity to make a putt, but it's kind of sketchy with that back backdrop pond. Oh man. I pans it out, guys. I pans it out and faded out left. Couldn't commit to the uh, couldn't commit far enough right with the water there. Thanks, those are the ones you gotta make. Well, I would typically go Onyx or Passion, but I've obviously bo used both those discs, so I'm gonna go with my Flippy Raptor, which is supposed to be an oxymoron, but this thing is beat in. I've got the Jomi Coling line stamp on there. This thing, uh, I typically throw for forehand flip-up shots, but I'm gonna throw it on a backhand flip-up shot, see how it flies. Oh, she is Flippy. Yeah, that thing flies so nice. A bead, like, I don't know what it, what it is, guys, but like a beat in oval stable disc is just so much better, typically, than a stock flippy disc. Let me know if you agree. Okay, technically speaking, in all fairness, I probably should throw like my Zone OS or something, but I kind of want to get some more holes in, so I'm going to go with my putter. I'm going to try to jump putt this. I've kind of been working a little bit on like the Ganon ball style, like get the disc to the side, half throw, half putt type of shot. This is a long ways for me to go, but and I've been working on it for a few days, so don't make fun of me too much if it's bad, but I'm gonna see if I can get this somewhat close to the basket. The key for me here is, is getting a lot of spin. When you increase the arm speed, keeping the spin rate high is so important and uh, so difficult. <laughs> All right, that was really bad. Let's try it again. I mean, yeah, it's just not it, you know? But I've got three months to figure that out. It'd be so nice to have like such, like a, a commanding, like long jump putt that you can, you can do from range to kind of improve those like short up shots a little bit and give yourself some chances. I mean, Gannon makes putts from 150 feet sometimes, it seems like. Honestly, I just don't know how he does it, you know? If, if Gannon could teach me how to go like this and then like putt it 80 miles an hour, That'd be great. Oh my gosh. Oh man. For a second though, I thought that, yeah, maybe that side throw putt thing messed my whole putting stroke up, but I think we're gonna be just fine. This is where I get to throw a, a kind of fun shot. Got an Avenger SS in my bag and the Swally Z plastic gonna go roller up the left side. Now typically in my tool bag, I also carry a Scorch with me which is just a little bit longer and more stable roller disc for me. But today I've got the Avenger SS. Let's see if I can make something happen. I like the angle. It's gonna, it's gonna finish off to the right. Yeah, that's great. See, I don't know if we really incorporate roller holes enough onto it. I think it's such a fun shot and it's fun to watch. And I think that's part of the reason that makes the Poland Open such of an interesting tournament because it's, it's kind of roller heavy, which I think is kind of unique and interesting. 
I've only got two discs left that I haven't thrown. I'm gonna go with my Zone OS, which is an absolute beefcake of a disc. This is a right to left coughing shot, but with this disc, I'm still, I'm still gonna have to throw it on Anheuser, let it flex all the way out, hopefully get me close to the basket. This is also like, it's gonna be like a max distance 240 foot shot for me too. Oh my gosh, dude, I yanked the crap out of that. Ugh. I mean, I love that disc, you know, who doesn't like a good dumpy, but that tra that shot was so trash. Let's go, baby. I think making a step putt more of a staple in my, in my game is going to be huge. I kind of got away from it for a lot of last season and jump putted more often. But when the step putt is dialed, it is dialed, man. It's so good. All right, and finally... Last, but unfortunately, I guess least on the Zone GT Battle Pack poll, I have my Ring Top Zone GT. This has been probably definitely one of my favorite discs to throw lately. It's so much fun. It's, it's new and exciting and basically just a more oval stable zone. So this is not a good hole for it because it's uh, impossible for me to get the 350 feet I need up this hill to get to the basket, but you can still see the flight of it. Oh my goodness, bro. It's just one of my favorite discs to throw badly and just shank shots with it, you know? God, I yanked the crap out of that too. I don't know what it is. Well, obviously tried a little bit too hard on that shot. Needed to, needed to be a little bit more of a smooth guy and just have a nice touchy little Anheuser, but I tried to rip it. I got boned. Stand still, up shot, CT Glow Challenger SS. Maybe I should start throwing those discs too, because that was actually really nice. Hey, I believe in second chances. Let's give the ring top zone GT one more chance to do what it's supposed to do. Let's throw it on a forehand hyzer. Try to give myself a nice little ace bit on hole 17. Just how you draw it up, pumped. Thank you for watching my in the bag video. This is a little bit different style than I typically do, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, basically, my bag stays very similar all the time. It just kind of changes what disc fills what switch slot. So I might switch out my, you know, oval stable Big Z Onyx slot if I throw an oval wall, you know, but it's the same slot. So thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Good day, you know, threw some good shots, got some baldies, only lost two discs, which is, you know, that's pretty solid. So, you know, can't complain. See you guys in the next video.